Hello and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today my illustration was inspired by Paul David Tripp's book, New Morning Mercies. And today is June 30th. The other day, my sister told me a harrowing story about her son and grandson. And they were traveling home from a baseball tournament and on the throughway going 75 miles an hour when all of a sudden there was some kind of a popping or breaking noise in his car and the next thing he knew uh, his tire had exploded and he grabbed the steering wheel with one hand and was trying to protect his son with the other hand and was able to keep the car um, in lane until it stopped and uh, over on the side of the road. And a man came up behind him in a car and stopped and got out and said, he had seen the whole thing and he saw what happened from behind and he said, I can't believe that you were able to keep control of your car and get it off the side of the road. So just hearing that story made me ill at the thought of what could have happened. Today in his devotions, Paul Tripp introduction says, if the righteousness of Christ allows me to stand before a holy God utterly unafraid, why should I be haunted by what you think of me? And he talks about our timeline as a believer, and it starts when we are saved, and that's at one end, and at the other end is eternity. And he says, but sadly, many Christians have little understanding of salvation present. That is the benefits of the work of Jesus Christ right here, right now. And at the end of his lesson, he sums it up by saying, when you begin to understand what you have been given in his right here, right now grace, you quit asking people, places, and things to be your savior because you know what he thinks of you. You are free to worry less about what the person next to you thinks. That is a freedom many of us can use. And that makes me realize that I do look to people and places for their approval and their acceptance. And I do look to things to satisfy uh, emptiness within me because I forget the million little ways that God has shown me his love and his provision. Over in the additional study, Paul Tripp sends us to Psalm 121. And it starts out saying that, I lift my eyes up to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And I imagine my nephew, after what could have been a tragic accident, quite shaken, getting out of the car and standing by the side of the throughway, maybe with his hands on his knees, trying to calm down and catch his breath. And then he stands up and looks out over the grassy fields ahead of him. And he realizes that he has been given an incredible gift, a reminder that neither he or his family will soon forget that our help comes from the Lord, 
the maker of heaven and earth. So thank you for joining me at Mimi Sketchbook. I hope this was an encouragement to you. And God bless.